see ya. Good to see you too. Of course, all right. Ten wins in a row for the boys out there. Uh, you know, very good offensive day today. Uh, you put up seven runs in the fifth inning. I guess you just want to start there as that was probably the high point. Uh, I don't know how that offense was really clicking out there today. Yeah, the offense looked great the last couple of days. A couple of games we've been scratching together wins. And today it just looked like everything worked with their approaches and stuff like that. They had good at bats, long at bats. Uh, for example, Marty had a, a long at bat in that second game. We ended up, he walked and we ended up scoring those runs. So just at bats like that, scratching a claw to get on base, and then other guys come up with a big hit like Kemp. And, and I can think of Brock came up with the big hit. So it's just it's just uh, timely hitting on top of good approaches, which is, is, is what really turned around for us today. Exactly. Um, we'll go back talking about, we'll talk about Dan Kemp for a little bit. Had himself a phenomenal day, did very well in the first game. Comes out, gets on base every time in the second game with a couple hits, three walks. I guess if you want to talk about uh, his approach specifically yeah. today, and how he was able to use that to be the catalyst for this offense. Yeah, he it just, was just seeing everything so well today. He, uh, he's locked in, he's been locked in, in practice, just working on his swing since he got healthy. And it just looked today, it looked like the, the Dan Kemp before he got injured. Just he was Before he got injured, he was uh, doing everything for us, and then he came back. And, Today he just he just looked like he finally put it all pretty pretty much back together and, and it, it's exciting to watch because I think he can do some serious things. Exactly, and you guys were able to scrap from the first game, uh, having some guys come out of the bullpen, uh, maybe throw them a inning here or there. But yeah. then the second game, you got Doug Willie come out after Kevin McGowan, uh, McGowan throwing five innings, uh, Doug going the other four, and um, I guess if you want to talk how important that maybe was for Doug to go to those four so then you have a pretty fresh bullpen going yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's, that's huge. Having a guy that can come out like, like Doug or <clears throat> like how he came out the second game, is just, it's huge because in a sense, the tomorrow we're playing a whole different team. So uh, even if you, you can come back with, we'll have still, we'll still have some of our guys, Cavelli, Haran, and pretty much the majority of our bullpen available to come back tomorrow because we only threw Landry in the first game and, and Willie as well, Willie again. So... Having Willie go those four innings in the second inning, especially to be strong and just shut that down, because they could have came back, you know, in that next inning after we scored those seven runs and maybe maybe scored a run or two, and it's a whole different ball game. So for him to come, not only come in and eat the innings, but also to do so well while eating those innings is that's big. It's big for the bullpen. It'll prove to those other guys coming in from now on how well we can do, and uh, and just how much they how much they can succeed coming out of the bullpen if they just throw strikes and get things done. Exactly. Now you take two from Southern Connecticut, which is uh, was probably the goal of today, obviously. And now you go into tomorrow, you have two more. You mm -hmm. face New Haven. And like you said, they are a different team. Uh, what aspects are you looking out at them and um, maybe how you guys are going to approach the game tomorrow? You know, same way same way behind the plate uh, by with hitting. If we just keep the same approach that we had today and we can carry that out and just have good at bats, you know, Scratch and claw, maybe try and get to their, their starting pitcher as early as possible, get into that bullpen and, and see what they have. Because we played them in Florida, uh, we, we split with them in Florida, I believe, and uh, it was a good good two games. We got a good feel of what they had, they had a good feel of what we had. And I think if we just go in with the right mentality and just focused and just kind of like be excited about what happened today, today, but tomorrow it's a whole new day. Uh, it's a whole new team, but they're, they're a good team, they're going to come at us. So if we just have the right approach, Scratch some good bats out together. I don't see why our, our offense can't do great things. And then with Leach and uh, Aurora throwing for us tomorrow, they just if they just come out, throw strikes. I mean, if, when Leach throws strikes, he has some some really good stuff. And and uh, Aurora threw really well for us when he started in Florida, uh, just mixing it up well. So if, the key is just going to be strikes and a good approach behind the plate. So if we can do both those things, I think it's going to be another good day. So. And another sweep of the Ravens tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully. Coach Cody Hoffman, thank you for joining me today. Thanks for having me.